Mortal? I know it's not our scheduled meeting time, but I... Ah, there you are. Yes, where was I? Oh, I have a little itty-bitty favour to ask of you, human. If you do this for me, then you can consider your favour repaid. Hmm? What do I mean? You already forgot. In exchange for not taking your soul to the bowels of hell, and providing you with much-needed aftercare, I was given a favour that I could call upon whenever and wherever I so desired. <laughs> As such, I'm cashing it in. So go, get dressed. And wear something presentable, please. Where are we going? Well, we're going out. As I was trying to say while looking for you, I want to go out for a date on Earth with you. I don't know many humans in this era, and you are the most knowledgeable human I know. So I was hoping... You'd... Show me a good time tonight. <laughs> you are so easy to fluster. That's one of the reasons I enjoy our time together so much. It's so much fun to tease you and watch you turn bright red with bashfulness. Ever since I've been summoned to Earth, I've been doing a bit of research, and I've learned about something called a devil's food cake. I have read reviews on the thing you call the internet, and it says that devil's food cake is sinfully delicious. As the devil herself, I feel like I have to be the judge of whether it's truly sinful or not. Now then, go get dressed. Put on something cute. I want you to look your best when we go out tonight. Well, of course we're going to dress up. When was the last time you went out in something other than... that? No, there's nothing wrong with what you're wearing or your style. How often do you get to dress to the tens and go out of the Princess of Hell? On an all-inclusive date night? Hmm. Now go. Get dressed. We leave in ten. Got it? Yes, reservation for two. I called earlier today. Lucy Morningstar. Marvellous. I told you I handled the reservation. Now then, let's get going before the waitress leaves us here at the door. And they say chivalry's dead. Pulling my chair out for me. Hmm. Thank you, sweetheart. Hmm. So many great vineyards on here. What do you think we should have with dinner? Such a great choice. Two glasses of that one, please. And make sure to leave the bottle, okay? Hmm? How did I get a reservation on such short notice? Oh, silly mortal. Let's just say... Favours go a long way down in hell. The owner here had a bit of an advertising problem. So all I did was invite some high-class people here to conduct a business meeting and voila. As such, this is one of the many small favours I can cash in with the owner. A deal with the devil doesn't always involve soul repossessing and being dragged to hell. No, no. Much like... Our arrangement. I get much more if I keep you here on Earth. A trade of services is more important to me. Oh, here comes the waitress with our glasses. Thank you, mortal. Give us another moment with the menus, will you? Now where was I? Ah, yes. An exchange of services. I find that is much more important than just taking something from you mortals. It makes it... Fair. You humans are much more likely to trust me and let your guard down. The more things I do for you, the more you feel inclined to help me in a time of need. What's a saying you humans have? Scratch my itch and I'll scratch yours? You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours? Well, what if the itch isn't on your back? What if the itch is on your arm or foot? Then what? Or... Perhaps on your leg? Or somewhere more... intimate? 
There's that shy, flustered look I do love so much. I can't help but smile when I see that look. Mm. Yes, I think I'll have a filet mignon cooked medium. For a side? Hmm. I do enjoy the sound of the garlic mashed potatoes. And the grilled green beans. That's a wonderful choice. I was looking at that too. I'm gonna have to steal a bite off of your plate. Mm, that was such a great meal. I forgot how amazing human food really was. Hmm? Well, it has been a very long time since I was last up here. Well, at least before I was summoned by you. Because of you, I have the ability to traverse the mortal plane and hell at my leisure. Makes our cuddle dates easier, rather than you having to do a ritual each time. You've basically created a permanent anchor for me to this plane. As long as it remains, I can come and go whenever I desire. So I figured, what better way to repay you for this amazing gift than to give you a special night with the Princess of Hell? We got all dressed up together, had a five-star dinner, and finally, the pièce de résistance, a devil's food cake to share. Hmm? When did I order this? I ordered it when you went to wash your hands, silly. I figured getting something to share would be better than trying to stuff our faces and stomachs to the brim. Was I right? Good. That's what I thought. Now then. Let me just grab a fork and say ah for me cutie. Oh, come on now. That flustered look is always so cute. Now, if you don't take this bite of rich, thick chocolate cake, it's going to drip all over the table. We don't want to waste food now, do we? Very good. Is it as sinful as people claim? It's that good, huh? At a loss for words, I see. Okay, now it's my turn. This truly is downright sinful. The cake is moist and spongy with a fudge-like texture. Rich and creamy chocolate flavour. Yes, this is definitely something worthy of the devil's blessing. Waitress. Make sure the kitchen staff accept Princess Lucifer's blessing upon this delicacy you mortals have bestowed upon our table. Hmm? Embarrass you? What in the devil do you mean, mortal? I simply wish for the staff to know that the devil approves of this dish. Such strange customs you humans have. It's not like I was going to do anything, like take them back to hell and turn them into my own personal chefs or anything. <laughs> well, regardless of that, this date was quite a treat. I enjoy spending time with you, human. I have learned a lot about your world since you summoned me. I never bore of coming here and listening to your woes and desires. It's very... cathartic, so to say. I think that every day should be lived to its fullest. Celebrate the small victories in our daily lives and enjoy what life has to offer, you know? Hmm? Live every day like it's your last. Huh. Did you just come up with that yourself? Well, even if you didn't. Here's to companionship. In whatever form it shows up in. Now then. I was thinking for our next date we could go to something called the cinema. It's apparently a place to watch something called a movie, 